So they say that research is often me-search, and in my case, that's true. At 16, I was invited by the Chinese National Federation to compete in a sport called equestrian vaulting. At 18, I completed my athletic career at the World Equestrian Games, and I transitioned into academics, where I noticed a sharp decline in my physical activity. Unfortunately, we know that as physical activity levels tend to decline, mental health issues such as depression, anxiety, and stress tend to increase. Issues that have doubled among college students in the past decade. Physical activity tends to decline as we age, often persisting as a lifelong trend of physical inactivity. The sharpest decline occurs though between 18 to 24, with women experiencing the most significant reduction. Research to date has looked at how physical activity and mental health are related, as well as adjustment and mental health issues, but there is a lack of research that has combined these three factors. This past summer, I conducted a systematic review and meta-analysis over over 5,000 studies, and we found zero that combined these three factors. So we have an important question. How do we promote physical activity among women as they transition into college, meeting those American Heart Association recommendations of 150 minutes of moderate or 75 minutes of vigorous physical activity per week? My research addresses this gap. Using validated and well-established measures, we collected data from 200 participants at the beginning of the semester and will measure them again at the end of the semester to mark changes in physical activity as well as mental health and looking at the potential mediating factors of academic, social, and personal emotional adjustment as well as attachment to the university. Additionally, research shows that yoga is an effective form of physical activity to promote mental health among college students. Last year, I piloted a eight-week mindfulness-based yoga intervention among uh, 28 Division I student, women's sports student athletes, and we saw reductions in their mental health issues. Data from my dissertation is directly informing my current intervention work to build healthy habits during this critical transition. My research promotes physical activity, supports mental health, and improves overall well-being hoping to improve college success, student retention, and overall wellness. Key factors in lifetime health and well-being. Thank you for your attention.